Oh, time for a quick update. Um, I guess I'll go through the corals and a couple new things. The green A can is doing all right. I haven't fed them in a couple days, so they might be looking you know, a little hungry. I've been really busy. The cloves are doing well. Some new polyps opening up. Growing every day. No more hydroids. My war coral, which doesn't seem to be a war coral, I don't know what it is, but it looks like it's doing better. It's starting to fill out a little more. My green tip hairy mushroom is massive. My Acan Lord doing good. This new red mushroom is doing fine and if you can see there's a baby on top of it there. And this one, you can see on the bottom there's a little one poking out there too. So, and there's another one underneath him. There's so there's a total of five red mushrooms. The green one you can barely see because when this guy's big, it's hard to tell, but there's now four greens. Pulsing Zini is doing fine. Leather Coral seems to be doing good. He changes position every day. I don't know what's up with him. Um, Montipora has got this red stuff on him. If anyone knows what it is, please let me know. I, I, I don't know what it is. The uh, clowns there are doing good. Um, the snail on the back last I actually had a, a dead snail. Um, Astrea, I think that's how you pronounce it, snails. When they flip over, they can't flip back. So I found him upside down on a rock. I don't know how long he'd been there, but I put him down on the bottom for a couple days, see if he'd move. And no, nope, he didn't move. And uh, so he's been he's been promoted to glory. Um, waving hands doing good. I don't know if you can see all the core line on that back pump, but it's starting to spread like crazy in my tank. Candy canes are doing great. They're actually massive. I don't know what's going on with them, but they're just huge. probably hungry. Maybe I'll feed them tonight. Um, frog spawn is looking good. Let's see if I can get around and get a picture of the heads. The new heads down there. Yeah, you might be able to see them better now. They're a little bigger this week. So there's one, two, three. Three? Yeah, there's three. Maybe four. You can see them, they're kind of like little circles. So that's cool, they're coming along. Um, I don't know what this stuff is, some red type of algae. If it is, I'll remove it. It'd be pretty easy to remove, it's all in a clump. So if anyone can tell me what that is, I haven't taken the time to look it up. Uh, my zoos, my old zoos are doing good, they're spreading. These ones are really spreading, they're going nuts. Going and climbing down onto the rock. Uh, those purple ones are now two. The green one, you can see there's a new stalk. Well, there's actually two stalks now that I can get a closer look at that. So there's a stalk there, it's split in half. That's a gorgeous though. And this one, still nothing, really. Got a couple bubble algae again. Might have to pull that frag out. Um, if you notice, my rocks are slowly becoming crusted with coralline. And no, I do not use purple up. I do not add any chemicals. I don't even test my calcium. I don't test anything. Honestly, 
it's not that I don't care okay yeah it is I don't care and regular water changes like IPSF.com mention will take care of most of it um, maybe one day I'll start testing again I have the kits but really I'm just kinda learning here uh, making sure I have hardy corals and you can find out what's a good hardy coral online and what's not and then after your system becomes stable you can kinda figure out what's good for your system or not uh, I did change one thing in the sump turned it on so you can see is I got a new light fixture. I used to have two uh, T8, T8 fixtures. Now I have a floodlight over my Cheeto and it's doing much better. I realized my Cheeto wasn't growing very well and the fixture I had was just messed up every time it went on. It would only go half on and I'd have to, I'd have to flick it like 10 or 15 times and then the bulbs would maybe come on. Um, so anyway, I picked up this little screw-in fixture for five bucks at a place called Princess Auto in Canada. And this uh, light fixture I got from Walmart, it was seven bucks. It is a Enter Saver uh, 1050 lumens 4100K outdoor self-ballast, self-reflecting -reflect, floodlight. And since I've gotten it three days ago, my Cheeto has actually started to spread out and grow a bit. So I'm pleased with that. And I think my water quality has gotten better because of it. So, yeah, other than that, that's this update. Things are going well. I am about to go out and build my new stand for my 90 gallon. Uh, and I will post an update on that as well. Okay, take care.